we would like to avoid the fate, um, the same fate as uh, dinosaurs. Um, so we need to develop contingency plans. Uh, we're working on wearable electronics for plants. So uh, all human needs wearable electronics, but plants also. Uh, the idea is that we want to enable them to grow in a foreign environment so that they can maximize their growth and then adapt uh, to the best of their abilities to foreign environments. So we're developing wearable electronics to enable them to monitor uh, their conditions so that to help them grow better. If you have watched the Martian movie, <laughs> you may appreciate the importance of growing vegetables in space. So in fact, the astronauts would like to um, feed themselves vegetables in long-term uh, space missions. So we are uh, help them to monitor the plant growth autonomously without much human effort so that they can optimize their growth conditions to better grow vegetables in space. So we're working on both two-dimensional um, printing technologies to enable thin film polymer printing as well as three-dimensional direct ink write so that we can pattern the materials. And then further, we're developing autonomous AI guided uh, printing methods to enable us to search through a diverse, very complex parameter space um, highly efficiently. We are marrying assembly with um, a printing. Basically, the idea is that when we print newspapers, we don't care about how the ink particles assemble, but when we print functional materials, um, how the molecules assemble would crucially de uh, de decide the performance of the devices. So we're um, leveraging the ability of the molecules to assemble themselves with uh, printing to enable them to assemble into highly efficient structures. 